Welcome to another episode of FTK Feature Focus. This one is another one that, that comes from our support tickets. And the question was, is what files are indexed? How do I control that so that I know exactly what I can and can't search or so that I can modify what it does and does not index, maybe saving time or, you know, if you have warrant or other constraints on what you can and cannot search, this could help you out. So what we're going to do is from the database management screen, and this applies to any version of FTK that you're using, we'll go to case and new and doesn't matter which processing option, if you have a button here or whatever, you just click customize. Once the evidence processing screen comes up, you notice this little button over here, index refinement. So within here, you have actually a lot of different uh, things that you can do. By default, you'll see what is and is not selected down here in exclude by category. So what is marked here? Anything that is checked, is not going to be indexed. And why is this the case? Well, because what we did is we went through and we found while working with uh, users of FTK, what are the most common things that they want to have indexed and what do they not want to have indexed, that sort of thing. And you know, what is the quality of the results? So you'll notice that a lot of things that are check to exclude are things like encrypted files because any the way that the index search works is it's searching the content well if it's encrypted there's no real content to index so we're not even going to try because it's just going to be garbage and so what that means is that the indexer is able to go through your case quicker because it's excluding stuff that wouldn't generate any meaningful results even if it did what you know, even after taking that time to run the indexer on that file type. So that's one of the ways that we increase the speed of our indexing for the cases. We realized, hey, you don't need to search these types of files because it's not going to bring back any meaningful results in the current format anyway. And so don't worry about it. But let's say that there is a reason that you want to exclude something or bring something back in. Like let's say executables, that there's a specific pattern here that you wanna search for in executables. You don't wanna use the live search, you want it indexed into your case, that's fine. You can go ahead and just deselect it. And now it's no longer excluded. Now it will index all the executables in your case. So that's excluding or including by category here. So I hope this was useful. If you want more tips and tricks like this one, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and be sure to check out the new updates that are coming frequently to FTK. And thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.